Today, we are now going to discuss about the L.C. King's model of the landscape development. L.C. King was basically a New Zealander and he has uh, worked on the model in African landscape the king was mainly influenced by two most important geontologists. One is known as the T. T. J. De Flair and another most important geontologist who is A. L. Dutoit. King's model is basically based on their concept and deals with the ideas of the TGD player and Dutroit. TGD player given a concept about the slope and Dutroit concept on tectonic. So King identified, according to King, there are some basic assumption of his uh, model that uh, before that he suggested that there is a uniform development of landform for all the landscapes. Development of land pump in varying environmental conditions. So uh, he suggested that there is an insignificant influence on the climatic changes for the development of landform. That is, the uniform development has been found for all the interlandscape. So some basic assumptions of the King model that he has discussed in his model, that uh, he described his model as a cyclopedic planation. The first assumption of King's model, the cycle of bed planation is performed by the twin process. One is the scarp retreat and second one is the pedimentation. Second assumption of the King's model that each cycle begins with the rapid rate of upliftment rate of upliftment by long period of crustal stability and the third one the cycle of petty transition
begins with upliftment of previously from These are some basic assumptions that he considered his model for the landscape development. N.C. King has identified his model of replenishment into three important stages. That is the youth, maturity and old age, which is not different from the previous geomorphologist of Dave's model. And uh, King identified the three main elements of the African landscape, of the landscape development. First, <coughs> the rock fragments. Rock pyramids flanking by river valleys, and there's a concave slope is found in the landscape, which is varying from 1 to 7 degree. His model is known as the parallel literature of slope. Because due to the resultant constant in the downwiring of the Scrap surface and generation under and the third one. Sided residual hills are found, which is known as the Monadona. By Davis and King suggested that in Silverch. Which size and shape is dependent on its magnitude of erosion. King divided his, the slope in its landscape development in four important slopes he has classified, which is known as the waxing slope, second one is the previous slope, third one is the debris slope, and fourth one is the pediments or warning slope. This waxing slope is basically characterized by the which is convex in nature and more transportation are occurred due to its steep slope. And the previous slope, this is the bedrock outcrop. There is no deposition so far and very steep. However, this previous slope is basically depends upon the adequate relative. 
and the one our devrith slope gives the retreat with the free face that what about the you know uh, metals are coming that is deposited retreat of the free face and the last one is the warning slope or the pigment slope which is concave in profile and it's supposed to be hydraulic one so these are the slopes that have uh, identified by the king in his model and there are <coughs> however the king's model has been suffering from several weakness that some of the geophilogists are uh, make some criticism of the king's model that is king's model specially focused on the arid and semi arid region that this type of landscape is mainly by or the cycle of erosion is mainly occurred on this uh, arid and semi arid regions he do not focus on the other environmental conditions in his model and second that the uniform development of landform for all the environmental conditions which is not possible that we have found that uh, the development of the landforms are varied based on their climatic and environmental conditions and uh, third one he doesn't consider the field observations more field observations not taken in his model So these are some basic weakness of the king's model. Thank you for watching.